Are you still using Gantt chart to monitor your project progress with your team manually? If yes, then you want to watch this video on how to use the latest project management tools called Microsoft Planner within your Microsoft Teams. Now, if you're using this tool inside your Microsoft Teams, you can track all your progress of your project and the history inside this Microsoft Planner. Here's how you can use the Microsoft Planner. A dashboard. It will automatically create a dashboard for you to monitor your teams. Yeah, you can see that how many tasks is already started. RMS start is in progress. If it's have due date, it become late. Then it will show how many are late. Yeah, and then by priority, and then you can see by the team members, how many is not assigned, and you can see the details right over here. Yeah, group assigned to who and who and who. Yeah. All right. Or you want to see by progress, you can see right over here the details. So this got the charts. Now, how great is that, right? You have all this complete. Yeah. As long as you have Microsoft Teams, then you should be able to use your planner. Yeah. For free, right? So this is the one that I created earlier on. And you can see there are like three tasks over here. So now we have different faces. If you want to know more, uh, watch this video that I created earlier specifically on how to create or set up your planner. Yeah. Right now, I already set up like three tasks. Very simple. All you need is just click at task, and then you can put in a task name, let's say task two, okay. If you want to set the due date, not, you can set it later on, yeah. So task two right over here, and you want to look at the details, you can click over here, and then you can assign to any of your team members. I'll talk about that in a while. Then you can have your progress, whether it's not started in progress or completed, Okay, priority as well as other things, right? You want to have more details, you can do that. And or you want to have more subtasks like checklists, you can add this. Yeah. So this is the one with the checklist you can see here. And you want to show it on the card means that you can see it directly on your board. You can click here. If you do not want to show it, okay, click over here, then untick that. It will not show that. You see, there's only showing you that there are three tasks in here, subtasks or checklist. Okay, so click over here. I want to show it on the card. Now you want to add some comments, a description, right? So important notes. You can click it here. You want to show it there. You can do it right over here. You can show the notes here. But once you show the notes, okay, let me see whether you can show both or not. No, you can't. So either you can show this, the checklist or the subtask or the notes, okay? So either one, we want to show it right over here. But usually I prefer to see my subtasks right over here, okay? Now, once you do that, first thing that you want to monitor your team, yeah, this is what you usually do. This is based on the latest new Teams Planner, yeah, that just launched like a couple of weeks ago. Okay, and uh, grow by here, group by buckets means that right now, instead I can set up different buckets, okay, like in progress, so on. Right now, I don't have to do that. All I need is just that I can group by progress. So I can see that what are the tasks that is already started in progress or completed. Okay, and very simple. Okay, this is what we call Kanban board. Now, you want to learn more what is Kanban, K N B A N. Okay, leave a comment, come by right below. I'll create another video to talk about that. It is one of the Agile on Lean tools. Now, how do you want to move this? Let's say if I want to start task two, so I can just move this here. Yeah, okay? let me move it back, show you here. You see the program is not started right over here. Instead, I can change it right over here, but I prefer to drag and drop. Yeah. So because this is like a like Kanban, Kanban, you can search Kanban on your Google and you can go to just images, photos, you can see that there's a lot of like post-it notes. So these are like some kind of your post-it notes, okay? So you move from 
not started to in progress, automatically you will change it right over here. You can see that, right? And uh, now, if I want to check the, the status by people, let me show you, let's say assigned to, okay? So I can see that how many tasks is assigned to different people, okay? So all I need is, uh, let's say for example, I want to assign tasks to myself. I can drag it right over here. You can see that automatically it will come out right over here. I hope you've seen the benefits of using this Microsoft Planner. Go and try it and let me know how it going to work out for you. Try it out and let me know if you have any questions so that I can create more videos to help you to utilize these powerful tools. By the way, I'm Andrew. And if you like this type of productivity video, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you will be notified. And meanwhile, check out some of this video that I created earlier and I hope these videos will help you to grow your career. I'll see you real soon in my next video.